Hey, Baroness Paul Cundiff and uh, Mark Berryman. And uh, so Mark has uh, replaced your chine, as you can see down here. So he's doing a little cleanup of the 5200 and uh, the lands for where the next where the plank goes. We've got to make a new plank, and we had to just tear the old plank up to get it out of there. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, and a little and a little section of what we call a chine cap, um, which is kind of sort of the. Uh, uh, the chine cap is uh, something that Chris Craft does. So you've got a kind of a combination sensory and Chris Craft bottom. And uh, it's been messed with before. Uh, your bottom's been uh, worked on before. Uh, also, uh, Mark checked out the, uh, the transom boat, which is a structural member back here. And he took up the, uh, took up the uh, planks that the uh, tank sits on. And... Uh, and checked and poked and we could not find any we can see where that repair had been made but we could not find any any damage so um unless you want us to take a plank off down here this bottom plank off and hunt for a problem and maybe not find one which just doesn't make a lot of sense to me uh then then we you're in the clear on that frame back there now so we're actually pretty close to having the uh having everything done and we had we had a you know had, had quoted based on the frames that you knew about or i shouldn't say quoted i estimated based on the friends that frames that you knew about and that was this frame right here uh and, and floor timber and also this this frame section right here and so all of those are done and i and, I, and in addition and we had a number, you remember the number. And in addition, um, we've got at least part of the shine work done uh, within that number. So now I just gotta see how much over the shine's taken us and this plank uh, and give you an updated number so that you can consider what you might wanna do next and, and what your total scope might wanna be. Um, on the engine, of course, you know, we ran the engine, it had a we when we first did the compression test we had two cylinders that were low they were number one two three four five and six which are on this side and, and then we ran the engine and we had good compression on all the cylinders so that was good we just had, we had some stuck valves or something uh some kind of debris in the valves between the seat and the valves um, and then uh, we have the water pump new water pump impeller sitting right here getting ready to go uh, as you recall, we found that there's oil being picked up by the um, by the um, flywheel in the bell housing, and it's throwing oil. So we, we know we got a rear main oil seal problem, and we have uh, uh, we have one carburetor that was just pouring gas down on the back of the engine, uh, and um, so that carburetor rebuild would be about six hundred bucks. And the fix oil seal would be a couple of days, um, you know, basically a day taking the engine out, putting it back in, and uh, maybe a day fixing the oil seal. And then, and, and that's probably a bit of an overestimate. So you were talking about you'd like to have this painted, the engine uh, painted as well. So we would be able to do that. Um, and we call that an engine, we call that a detail. Um, the, uh, well, normally with a detail, it's rebuild the alternator, it's rebuild the starter, it's paint the engine, it's do a tune up, uh, and it's, um, uh, and we take the engine out to do it. So we would be very close to, and rebuild the carburetors, both carburetors. And that would be roughly 3,500 or 3,000 bucks. And then if you add two, if we were to do that and just and that would give you everything would be fresh your alternator your generator your carburetor rebuilds um everything would be fresh and uh so if we did that then um you know we'd just be adding the uh, adding the oil seal to it which would be a, a like a, a 600 dollars build and that's if it took us all day uh and the seal is obviously going to be really cheap just the getting it uh, getting Anyway, so uh, that's I'll I'll, I'll I'll put those prices in writing for you uh, in case you want to 
actually do a detail on the engine. And uh, anyhow, then uh, um, uh, obviously you can see we haven't done the, the, the material on the dash yet or in the pockets. We'll get to those shortly, but I didn't, I couldn't have two people hanging, uh, walking all over each other. Um, that would have been expensive. Uh, so we're, we wanted Mark to be able to get out of the way before we go back in on the, uh, go back in on the, uh, uh, the upholstery up here in, that's inside the boat. And of course it gets a crash rail around the edge of the boat here. So anyhow, I just want to give you an update. Uh, Merry Christmas to you. And we'll talk to you soon. Uh, and I would like approval, uh, like you decide what you want to do to the engine and get approval to move forward on that. Thanks.